Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And we're back in a new year in 2023 here, and I've got another short, quick video that I wanted to do here on uh, just showing these two reels here on this topic of uh, bearing noise. So I'm spinning this reel here, and you can hear, you know, that bearing is, is pretty noisy, okay? So this is a, a Shakespeare Ugly Stick uh, three-ball bearing reel, this is. And then up here we've got a Shakespeare Encore, kind of with the same problem. This reel is in pretty rough shape, actually. I'm going to be doing a service on this reel shortly. These are combo reels here, basically. You know, they came off of Ugly Sticks or other Shakespeare rods, perhaps, at one time. And, uh, you know, combo reels, they're, they're kind of a dime a dozen. You know, they're all pretty similar. They all work the same. Uh, they have different bearing systems in them sometimes, just the amount of bearings. But, you know, they, they all have the same physical design, more or less, typically. But you can hear that bearing noise. Now, uh, I've done some videos on, on working on bearings and doing maintenance on bearings. However... Sometimes uh, there's bearings that you just cannot service, uh, either because you can't get the metal plates off of them and actually get access to cleaning the bearings and oiling them, or they're just simply worn out. Uh, they have a shelf life. You know, mechanical parts have shelf lives. And so uh, in, in that situation, uh, what you can do is uh, you can... Uh, actually go online and you can order new uh, bearings actually from a couple of different sources. Uh, one that I uh, have purchased from is Boca Bearing and, uh, and they make really, really good uh, quality bearings. And all you really need to do is if you get a uh, caliper tool, this is an old one, but uh, you know, you, you can use a digital one and you basically measure uh, the size of the bearing that you're uh, that you're dealing with, uh, you know, on the outside and on on the inside dimensions, uh, and you uh, and you and you can match up uh, the same size bearing uh, that you need uh, to replace. And so, um, that's just a it, it's a quick tip, you know. Now, whether or not the reel is worth it or not, well, that's totally up to you. Okay, uh, you know, if these are reels that you like using and and and, you know, you want to continue using them, uh, then, you know, it might be worth it, you know, to spend, you know, 20 bucks or however much it costs, you know, to replace a bearing. In this case, this one has three ball bearings and this one has one ball bearing. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty easy, uh, you know, just changing out the one bearing in this, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, in this one, you know, to change out three bearings, well, that may not be justifiable, you know, for the cost of the reel, uh, especially given that they're combo reels, you know, but that's totally your preference and up to you. But, um, but yeah, if you, if you do those measurements with the caliper tool and you, you check out the different sizes that are available out there and there's other uh, companies out there. This is just one that I happen to, uh, to to purchase from so far and uh, and I like them a lot they're great uh, so that's uh, that's how you can remedy uh, bearing noise problems if uh, the bearings are in fact not really serviceable anymore or if they're just so worn out that it's just not worth dealing with or uh, you can continue using them and just uh, deal with the noise if, uh, if if it doesn't really bother you that much. You know, if you're if you're just doing a, a cast out and just leaving bait out in the water, uh, you know, well, you know, you're, you're not going to listen to this all the time. You're only going to be listening to it when you're reeling in. But if you're casting and retrieving all the time, you know, plugs and lures and things like that. That's where this might get a little more irritating, you know, if you're if you're bass fishing maybe or or you know uh, you know throwing out spoons for trout or something like that. So hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks again for watching. Uh, this is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button, and that way you'll be in tune with uh, all the videos that I have coming up in the days, weeks, and months to follow. We'll see you next time.